patient who frequently plays sports involving cardio sees the doctor as she has some concerns about her heart. Ever since I've been doing more intense workout for my track season, I've started to notice extra palpitation in my heart. Is this a medical problem? What you might have is something known as athletic heart syndrome or athlete's heart. That sounds horrible. Should I be worried? No need to fret. Athlete's heart is a natural subtle enlargement that can happen as the heart adapts to intense athletic training. How much the heart changes can vary from lots of different factors, such as the sport you play to how much you weigh, so it can have different ranges of normal. To further explain, the heart increases its output to increase the amount of blood ejected per beat, known as stroke volume. These reflect positive changes that allow the heart an increased ability to supply blood and oxygen to exercising tissues, achieved by increasing chamber size and compliance. This can cause the resting heart rate to decrease, known as situs bradycardia, when the person's heartbeat is less than 60 beats per minute. We'll take a screening of your heart to get a closer look. The doctor decides to use an electrocardiogram, or ECG, which monitors the electrical signals of the patient's heart. I've received your results, however, further testing will be needed to determine what you specifically have. We want to be sure before we confirm results. What is could it be? Have you ever heard about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? No, I don't think so. What is that? Well, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, HCM, is a disease caused by mutations in genes that affect the heart muscle. These mutations cause the heart's left ventricle to thicken, hence the name hypertrophy. This rare mutation usually affects domains in genes that produce saccharomyopathy proteins. The main way one gets HCM is through genetics, meaning you can inherit it from a parent and pass it down to your children. Sarcomere proteins are important for muscle contraction. The heart is made up of a lot of muscle, so if these proteins are not working, the heart will have a hard time functioning well. Some symptoms include chest pain, especially during exercise, heart murmur, palpitations, shortness of breath also during exercise, and fainting sometimes after or during exercise. Although HCM often goes undiagnosed because many people with the disease have few, if any, symptoms, this can make it lethal if it goes unchecked. Well, how is it related to me? Both athletic heart syndrome and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy are similar because they both increase the left ventricular mass of the heart. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, however, causes the left ventricular wall to thicken, while athletic heart syndrome causes the left ventricle cavity to enlarge. When using the echocardiogram, similar changes occur, making it difficult to differentiate between the two conditions. I'll have to use an echocardiogram to be able to tell the difference. The doctor uses an echocardiogram on the patient, which is essentially an ultrasound for the heart, to check how your heart's chambers and valves are pumping blood through your heart. After analyzing the results of your echocardiogram, the study does confirm that you have athletic heart syndrome. What should I do now? No treatment is necessary. It's not lethal. The most we'd have to do is monitor the left ventricle to be certain this is not caused by cardiomyopathy. Thank you, doctor. I now know what's... Created using Powtoon.